What's that? Can you hear the Titanic band warming up? I think all of America can hear the band warming up. With the exception of Joe Biden right now as the Titanic, a.k.a. his presidential campaign, is about to sink in the frozen waters. On Thursday, he had a solo press conference without his VP. A solo press conference. What happened, what happened to the unity in the Democratic side? This man had a solo press conference to try to shore up, shore up his drowning campaign right now. And it didn't help. All right, 16 Democratic lawmakers have so far publicly publicly called out Joe Biden to drop out. And now mega donors said they're going to hold withhold 90 million if Biden stays in the race. In this Fox 17 West Michigan article says the list of Democrats in Congress are calling for Joe Biden to end his re-election bid. All right, everyone's like, you've had a good run. And Joe Biden's like, I'm, I'm, not, even, I'm not even done. Am I done already? Everyone's like, yeah, you're done. All right, all right. Get, get your hands off the steering wheel. Back away from it. You, you, you've done enough, all right? There's an iceberg ahead of us, you know, and I, and I have to think the Democrats haven't had to see this iceberg, right, <laughs> miles away, maybe even hundreds of miles away. You've had three and a half years with this man, and you just decided when the iceberg is literally 10 feet in front of you, oh wait, we got to change it up. We gotta change direction here. (laughs) We're gonna hit this iceberg or we're all gonna drown here. We gotta change this up. You finally saw the iceberg. (laughs) Is that what you're telling me after three and a half years? Uh, In this article uh, quoting the New York Times, the Democratic donors told the largest pro Biden PAC, super PAC, Future Ford, they would not produce 90 million. Unless the president were drop out of the race. Sheesh. Of course, the president, Bi- president Biden has vowed to stay in the race as he continues to campaign weeks ahead of the upcoming Democratic National Convention. Now, uh, on Monday, there's the uh, RNC, which uh, Donald is uniting every Republican. All right. Uh, he might even announce his uh, VP pick on Monday, but uh, it's going to be great. The Republicans are looking fantastic. And everyone uh, on the Democratic side are like, what are we, what are we going to do here? Right? Because in that uh, Thursday's uh, press conference, that was, that was not it. All right? The... Uh, Democratic leader of the House of, Rep- House of Representatives um, said uh, he had an issue uh, with Biden's press conference and following the NATO summit, uh, Hakeem Jeffries is like, I need to talk to that man. All right, we need to figure it out, figure out this is, uh, this is good for the, uh, the Democratic side because, you know, that, that was not it. All right, everyone is questioning Joe Biden and I'm just thinking, like, really? Now? You've had all this time, right? The senators, uh, Congress people, celebrities who are Democratic had all this time, right? Three and a half years of uh, Joe being Joe, essentially, right? He's been Joe Biden for three and a half years. Now you're like, wait a minute. This is... This is not what I've signed up for. Yes! You signed up for this! You signed up for this in 2020! Don't you remember? You signed up for this! Now? 
You're gonna be on the boat. You're gonna hit the iceberg. And uh, you're gonna rose it up. All right. You, you're gonna kick Joe Biden out of that flimsy wooden uh, little floating device. And uh, you're gonna go to the shore like all the, all the other Democrats. All right, just gonna move on. But uh, give me your thoughts. Uh, this whole Democratic side gang up to, together trying to get rid of Joe Biden. And Joe Biden's like, I'm not leaving. All right, I'm the captain. I'm the captain of this boat. And we're gonna go as I say so. All right, and I say I'm not leaving. Okay? Do you hear the band warming up? Oh, yeah. Mr. President, the band is warming up. This is your boy, Ryan. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Get some rest because Monday and the RNC, I got a feeling, I got a hunch, the Republicans are going to pull out some surprises and maybe, maybe we can a VP pick from the Don himself just to just to throw it into the uh, Democrats fa- face like hey we got a, we got something for you you know just throw that last little little dingy just to crush the uh, Democrat boat you know but give me your thoughts this is your boy Ryan stay safe and have a great weekend